All right, so uh, it can be recorded before, but Georgia plays Ohio State um, in basketball in the quarterfinals of the NIT tournament. Georgia's baseball team is also playing Mercer. Um, but I believe all eyes will be on the basketball team. Um, Georgia has a chance to advance to the semifinals in um, the NIT. Um, the last time they played Ohio State was in 1977. They went to overtime. Georgia won like 82 to 77 or something like that. But so Georgia is one and zero versus Ohio State. Um, Georgia's last Big Ten opponent, man, you have to go back a few years. I think it was a 21 versus North uh, Northwestern, and they played that game in New Jersey. Georgia lost that game, but um, the dogs are coming in after a, a, a comeback, a, not a comeback win, but holding off Wake Forest was um, awesome and now Georgia could do it again if Georgia can win this game they're going to Indianapolis to play in the semifinals Georgia just has to win three more games and outside of Indiana State when I look at this NIT uh, bracket outside of Ohio State I don't think there's anybody that could beat Georgia if Georgia gets past Ohio State we have a really good chance to win um, the championship Ohio State's crazy they fired their head coach and they are seven and one since they have fired their head coach, or six and one, I believe, six and one or seven and one. Or but anyway, they have a winning record since they have fired their head coach, which is just absolutely crazy. He went on to go to Seton Hall. Um, so crazy things could happen. Georgia has never played at Ohio State. Um, as I just mentioned, they've only played once, and it was on neutral court. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Hopefully, Big Russell is um, better. Um, he was sick. And get some Wake Forest. Um, Sonny Sonohara did not play. I don't know what kind of um, condition he was in. And then, of course, uh, Jabriya Dorahim. Um, he did practice yesterday, but I don't believe he uh, is going to play tomorrow. So, 7 p.m. on ESPN, 6.35 airtime on the Georgia Radio Network. Um, Scott Howard, Chuck Dow, Adam Gillespie, and Luke Nekardi. This possibly could be the last game of the year. It might not be, who knows, but Georgia could get a big win versus Wake Forest. If the dogs could pull this out, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, a lot of teams are going to look at this and say it don't matter, but Georgia has won two postseason games. That's big steps for Georgia. It's tiny steps like that that build a better program. Um, shout out for Georgia for not opting out. We were open playing in NIT. I am so glad we did because we have got some really great victories here. Had to come back and beat Xavier, and then um, Wake Forest on the road. A team they were 17 and one before Georgia came into Wake Forest to one another 17 and two. So NIT is huge postseason experience. This postseason experience, don't matter how you get it, and I think Georgia is proving that. So Georgia and Ohio State dogs look to keep their season alive for one more game at least. Let's beat Ohio State. Go Hoop Dogs.